How is everybody? And for some reason, I'm pointing toward the floodlight again. I always choose the wrong place to mount my damn phone. <laughs> or to the park, actually, while charging. So I'm going to... I'm doing my charging meditation today. This is, this is a really annoying floodlight that's like right in my eye. I should probably just turn this or... How are you all doing this evening? How about this? I'll close my eyes. I'm going to close my eyes to relax a little. And I'll... Actually, wait, no, I can't because there's... An, I don't... I don't have my little chat reading thingy set up, so that is not doable. I have my headphones off. How is everybody? Good morning from Finland. Bad news, my S10 eCPU may be dead. Oh man, that, yeah, that's not the call you want to get from Mark now, is it? You know, that's not the call you want to get from Mark. Uh, let's see. I'm sorry to hear that MB is Frenchy. That sucks. And the S10 is encrypted. So on that thing, you're kind of stuck. Have you seen what Steve Wozniak said about right to repair? No, I have no idea what Steve Wozniak said about right to repair. Please tell me. I have no idea. I'm not sure what he said. I don't, I'm pretty sure I don't own the YouTube channel that he uploaded that video to. Try it for $1,000. Oh, geez. That must be really important data. That's got to be really important stuff. I had to do a triple take when this ended up in my recommended. Hello, Jay. Hello to the person from Costa Rica. How are you doing? I gotta get a mount that sits right behind this thing. So this way, I can use uh, this thing to block out that damn floodlight, because that floodlight is killing me. What do we have here? Huh. I could see Lewis staring at taxi in his newfangled Tesla. Was that a show with Tony Danza? I've been watching you since I graduated high school. I'm 24 now, and your advice has been critical to me being successful and appreciative of where I am today. Thank you. Will, where are you today? I'm very curious. And what are you doing? And I'm proud to hear that you are what you consider to be a success. That's what matters. It ain't what other people value uh, call success. It's what you call success. For me, success is remembering to turn my phone off of vibrate. When I'm doing a stream. The NYC DCA drama has me riled up. I mean, it is what it is. Like, I... Do I do I kind of earn it by living here? Yes, it is what it is. Here's the thing: there's a chance it gets resolved, but it's not even about whether it gets resolved. It's the amount of gray hairs that you earn in the process. Like, like the the thing with where you may get up to fifteen thousand dollar fine because you broke a law that nobody can actually explain how it exists. It's it's not the law in and of itself. It's the gray hairs you have, the gray hairs that you earn during the process that that get you because like even if everything winds up being fixed it's just um yeah it's just the, the grays that you earn along the way that make it suck i'm here to get charging my car this place that does not have my billing information or my card info and yet it's charging i don't know how that works but we'll see I think Dave Jones and Thunderfoot may be on some bullshit because I found I found free energy. I found free energy, and it's right here. How do you deal with your dad being so far away? Uh, I mean, he has his life. I have my life. Uh, that That's pretty much that. Like, he's busy with his stuff. I'm busy with my stuff. What flavor of toothpaste is your favorite? I don't even know my flavor of toothpaste, to be honest with you. Actually, no. The sparkling Crest Kids toothpaste that I used to have as a kid. That was some good stuff. But I stopped buying Crest recently. Steve Wozniak said companies inhibit right to repair because it gives companies power, control over everything. It's time to start doing the right things. Anamorphic Wizard. Anamorphic Mind. Do you know who contacted Steve Wozniak to prompt him to say what he said? What qualities in a city are you looking for most in a second location? I don't know what I'm looking for. That's the thing. It's one of those things where I'm probably not going to find it because I won't know until I find it. So, for instance, in the, when I go to a lot of these rural areas, it's nice, but it seems dead. But at the same time, New York City is not dead. There's a lot to do all the time, but I don't make use of it. 
like it's weird it's like i feel comfortable with the idea of being surrounded i feel comfortable with the idea of being surrounded by the potential of things that i can do but when i have these potential this potential that i'm surrounded with in reality i feel most comfortable sitting in my office fixing a board or working on some business thing or i haven't been fixing boards recently for a litany of reasons i'm not getting into in this video but like it's it's like i want to be i want to have the option to have all all these people and stuff around me but i don't actually do anything with it and even when i have free time it's not like i don't go to i i don't go to these bars and these clubs and you know party or meet strange women or i don't do any of the things that that you that that uh, are considered benefits if you live in new york versus living in another area i kind of wonder maybe it's if i move somewhere else i'm kind of admitting that i'm that that i'm old maybe that's what it is because I've, I've called a lot of parts of the city like the lower east side or the east village never never land because it's for people who never who never grow up or at least never try to grow up or admit that they're growing up and i kind of wonder if perhaps like is that me is that me Team Ophi, you're you're in the no no no. You know, my steering wheel is not in the wrong side. You're in the wrong country. Five to ten employees ready to go. Ben, that's one thing. Yeah, maybe the way that they have free energy here is solar roadways. I don't know. They don't have any way to bill me for this charging, so we'll figure out how that works. Alexandra, I'm not sure how I bring you hope, but I appreciate the kind words. Thank you. Software to fully back up all Android folders. I don't know, honestly. I just copy and paste the stuff off like with an SD, you know, like I would any SD card. I would probably ask Mark or Jessa. I, you, you could ask David, but you can't because he never streams at the store, which is something we're changing soon. Any plans for a trip to Denver? I don't have a plan for Denver. The hipsters and other upper middle class yuppies. Yes, Top Cat, you're not wrong. Come to Louisville, Kentucky, or Nashville. I've heard that Nashville has a lot of the same problems that New York City has with regards to them being completely fiscally unstable and not having their budget and their shit in order. Like, uh, It's probably not as bad as New York, but I remember Googling that a while back and reading a bunch of stuff on it. I, it was a while back, so I'd have to take a look at it again. But I want to visit Tennessee. I've been to Nashville before. What do you think of Nashville, Car White? Austin's property tax is way too high. Over 2% and you don't own your home. In my opinion. It's got to be like 1.1% or less. Even 1.1% is pushing it. But at 2%, it's like you got to convince me that it's worth it to not have to, 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 to not have property ownership. You got you, you to gotta do a lot. I don't think so, Matt Richardson. Here's the thing. So, like, Eli, the computer guy, used to try and talk me into doing YouTube as a full-time thing a long time ago. And the reason that that doesn't work is, what is the YouTube channel about? Like, when you really dig into it, what is this YouTube channel? Well, not this YouTube channel, the other one. This one's like a, a speck of dust. My other YouTube channel is pretty much me going about the story of my life. When I was moving, I learned that the New York City real estate market is totally corrupt. But I was moving because I had a business that needed to be moved. When I talk about right to repair, yeah, I mean, it's a concept that I'm talking about, but I also talk about it as it relates to my business. So uh, when I talk about the issues with the New York City governance, people watch that. But why does that matter? Why is it tangible? Because I'm talking about the real experience that I have as a New York City business owner. So the thing is, is that the YouTube channel in and of itself is discussing things that are real, that matter, that are not manufactured situations. None of this is scripted. It's just me going about the process of living. So if I were to not have a business, then there would be no story. 
And if there was no story, there'd be nothing to film. And what I would be filming would be manufactured garbage. Because if you look at this channel, like from the very inception, I've had a lot of people say, I don't like the direction this has gone in, or I don't like, you know, the videos you're doing. It's I'm, those videos get a hundred times the viewership of everything else. It's always been just the story of what I'm doing. Like the first video on this channel was me trying to sell a bunch of B154PW01 V0s in the basement. Why did I make that first video? Because I had 600 fucking screens that I bought using a Merrill Lynch line of credit that didn't even belong to me. And I needed to figure out how to liquidate them. Next video, like cell phone radiation in San Francisco. It was just me ranting about whatever was going on in my life. Or I had this one customer that had a store. What was the guy's name? Uh, I forget his name. It'll come to me at some point. But he had a business and he was using Groupon. And he was getting fucked by Groupon because he had this asinine idea that he had this asinine idea that he needed to uh, run Groupons at a loss to get customers. And he would bring me all the fucked up shit that he needed done in two hours because these Groupon customers were unreasonable. So I put a video on about Groupon. Like the, the, the channel itself is based on my opinions and my experiences of how I'm living my life. So if I get rid of my business and were to, quote, do YouTube professionally, it, it, it wouldn't work. It just fundamentally wouldn't work because what I'm recording are my thoughts as I live my life in my corner of the world. And if I stop living my life, if I stop having a business, then all of that stuff just kind of goes away. Uh, so His phone does this when he's streaming and he gets a call. Uh, let's see. Hello, Teresa. Hello, Aaron. Aaron is my trusted detective. I was anti-right to repair until you actually, until I actually took the time to do my research, and now I'm all about it. Thank you for breaking down the issue in a simple, compelling way. You know, it'd be really helpful, Nick, for me. And if you could tell me what made you anti-right to repair, it would make me a better presenter, a better advocate, and a better activist. And that would be very helpful. What's your cell phone number? No. Carolyn, long time no see. I haven't seen this moderator in like two years. I hope you're doing very well for yourself, Carolyn. Or Caroline. I don't know how to pronounce people's names. I'm a shit YouTuber. I don't know the names of my own moderators. Teresa's here. Aaron is here. Wow, it's like a... It is a... What's the word I'm looking for? It's a reunion. We have a reunion. Did you investigate that thing on Reddit? That thing. I don't know what that is. Eli must have the worst viewer to sub ratio on YouTube. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Uh, give me one moment. I may have to call it a night, actually. I will talk to you all later. I may redo this when I am home, but I have got to get going. I'll see you soon.